Hello, Dr. J here. Today I'll be talking about the 555 IC timer and this will be used in learning modes 4 and 5 of Unit 8. So the introduction to the 555 timer is starting off with a block diagram. We're not going to go into the details here, but all I can say is that the 555 comes from these three 5 kilo ohm resistors to help generate two reference points for comparisons. You can see that this is an 8 pin integrated circuit and it's a very cheap and popular timing device. The 555 timer can generate long time delays or commonly known as one shot timers also known as a monostable operation. It can also generate waveform oscillations that are bistable or commonly known as A-stable operations. And this is, can be used for LED flashers, alarms, logic clocks, anything that's requiring time control. So let me briefly go over the pinouts. Pin 1 is ground, so between pin 1 and 8 is the power supply. Pin 2 is trigger, pin 3 is the output, 4 is the reset, 5 is the voltage control, 6 is the threshold, and 7 is where the discharge capacitor is connected. So it's an 8 pin unit where you have this reference point. Sometimes there's a dot right here to show that it's near pin 1 for an IC integrated circuit. So here's the 8 pin integrated circuit and there's pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Again, as I mentioned earlier, usually there's a dot to show you that it's near pin 1. Also there's an indentation up here found on the top of the 555. So this is known as a mini dip package and the number of transistors depends on the manufacturers. Basically there are about 20 transistors, 15 resistors and 2 diodes. Here's a block diagram of a 555 found in multi-SIM. I have a handout showing you where you can get this 555 circuit. Again here we have the different functions for each pin and you have a power supply and the reset button, the discharge, the threshold, the trigger and the control button. We're not going to get into the details but we'll how the 55 can be implemented to, to function as a timer as well as an oscillator where we get our outputs where we hook it up to the oscilloscope at pin 3. That concludes part 1 and in the next video we'll show you some sample circuits from multi-sim showing the two operations of the 555 timer. That is the A-stable operation and the monostable operation or the one shot.